Welcome to my YouTube channel, Mission Four Walls. I also have a blog and a Teachers Pay Teachers store by the same name. Today, we're going over how to create a question in Google Classroom. This is great for if you want to create a simple assignment or you want class feedback and so forth. Um, now, you can ask a question here anytime and it won't be listed as an assignment. So that way you don't have a hole in your grade book. Um, so this is good for gen general information. Uh, let me back up what I just did. This is on stream, okay, the main page of your Google Classroom. And it says share something with your class. And you just type in what it is you want to share if you want to make an announcement or if you have a document you'd like to attach for them to view and not necessarily turn any work with, um, this is the place to do it. Okay, you can add something from your Google Drive, you can add a file from your computer, you can add a link like um, maybe an article from a website, or you can add a YouTube video here. Okay, and so that's just for I'm not grading this assignment, but it's something I want to share with the class. That's a great place to do that. But if you want to create a question that you're going to grade, come up here to classwork and then click create and go to question. Okay. And so here um, is where you would post your question. And if you have any further um, instructions, you can also add a document here or you can create something on Google. If you're um, proficient in any of these Google apps, you can do that as well. Um, so say, for example, you don't have Microsoft Word, you could go to Docs and create a doc and add it here, okay? But um, as for the question, you have the option of making it short answer or multiple choice. Maybe you want um, a quick grade, one question. You might do multiple choice. Um, I'm going to make this one short answer. And um, the people in this class are teachers um, who are in the same boat as me. And so I'm going to pose a question that might be relevant to them. Okay, so now I've typed out my question, how, what do you need to learn how to do in Google Classroom? I've selected short answer, and if I want, I can add instructions. I'm not going to. I have point value, who all is going to answer. I can leave that as is for all students, or if I wanted to select certain ones to answer it, I could do tomorrow. And topic, this is optional. Um, sometimes I create topics and I categorize, but you don't have to do that, of course. Um, and then we have the option students can reply to each other and students can edit answer. If you want them to just submit once and that's all, that's the only submission you'll take, you'll leave that as is. But if you want them to have the option to go back and change up their answer, you can select it. Um, I'm working with colleagues in this Google Classroom and so that I think is a good option. And once done, I can click ask or you'll notice there is an arrow here Okay, and it says schedule or save draft. Uh, maybe if I am still working through this and I wanna come back and edit it later, I'd click save draft. If I know I'm done, but I want this question to show up at a certain time, then I'll hit schedule, or if I'm ready to post it now, I'll click ask. So um, ask, that's uh, pretty straightforward. Let's do schedule so you can see how that's done. All right, and then it'll ask me when I want this scheduled. I actually wanna schedule it for today, and it says it must be scheduled for the future, so it won't let me schedule since this is automatically on 8 a.m. I'm going to change this to 11 a.m. Let's see what happens. Okay, it doesn't recognize that as the future, so I'll try one o'clock p.m. Oh, 
Yes, okay, so I just had to click outside of the box for it to re-register what time I'm actually asking for. So I have this, I'm going to schedule for 1 p.m. So that means that students will not be able to see this question appear on their timeline until 1 p.m. Click schedule. It's loading. Okay, now it's there. So um, this is what I'm going to see on my um, feed. The coloration is lightened to indicate that it doesn't show up to students yet, um, but it is scheduled for this time and that will darken once it's ready. And so that's all there is to it for creating a question that is gradable in Google Classroom. Um, if you'd like to learn more, please see my playlist for more tutorials. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be creating a lesson assignment. Um, I'm gonna be using Google Forms quizzes to do that, and I'm going to show different question answer items and information items so that you could potentially create a whole lesson, not just a quiz assignment, but um, some how-tos and whatnot. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next tutorial.